What's going on guys? I hope you're very well. I hope you're having a nice day today. It's Monday, I think. <laughs> so anyway, today we're going to work on a, this little guy, this little fella right here. Uh, it's the Prunus Cerulata, the Bonsai from Scratch edition. No? A couple of months we worked on it. And we pruned it and we also separated the air layer that we had done here. Yeah, we have performed here and we can see that it's growing very well so today it's like step two of that same operation that we began a couple of months ago today we're gonna do like I said a little bit of pruning to continue to develop ramification so for example here we can see a very good very good you know example of what we did we cut to get two branches and now what we do is the same thing we cut so we get two, two branches, right? So, um, yeah. As you can see, this is fairly easy. We just cut back until we get like two or three pairs of sorry of leaves in a little branch, and that's going to encourage back budding and more ramification. Like we mentioned last time, it might be a good idea. Look here, we can see another example. We cut here, and now we have this one and this one right here. Like we said the last time, it's a very good idea to let to let the little leaves mature before you prune again. That way, those new shiny leaves can help the tree to photosynthesize better. And instead of harming the tree, we're actually we're actually performing something that is very beneficial for it. There is a YouTube channel. I don't know if it's, if it's a YouTube channel, but it's a documentary about it. Uh, a gentleman by the name of Paul Gauchi. Gauchi. I don't. I, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Sorry if I'm butchering it. Anyway, his 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 last name I think is German or something, and he has a way of growing plants and vegetables. That is called back to eating gardening and uh, he mulches heavily with wood chips and I'm talking to you about this because he has an orchard like a, a pear and plum and whatnot orchard in his property and uh, he says that pruning is one of the best things that you can do for your for your trees that vigorizes them as opposed to Weaken them, weaken them, and um, yeah, that's exactly what we're doing here. Yeah, my guess is that it's something to do with uh, roots. You know, when you when you prune, you have a a surplus of roots that is feeding the plant, and that of course is very good you know plus you can direct new growth right you can tell the tree okay so this side it's no good because eventually it will die there's a wall here or whatever and the little plant will get the message yeah loud and clear okay so we're pretty much done this is a very very easy procedure as you can see here we have our sacrificial apex so one other thing that we can do is maybe we can thin out the leaves on the sacrificial branch and sacrificial apex so again we're sending the message that we want growth in the lower section lower and middle section of a plant yeah so there we have it one more thing that i'd like to do i don't know how feasible it is but you see that here i have a piece of wire and maybe what we can do today is try to apply that wire so that we bend here and we improve the overall structure of the tree. Let me just see if I can do that. And like I said, I don't know if I said it, but I thought about it. And uh, we're only going to apply it to the main trunk. Are you seeing this? Yeah the main trunk because um, 
If we were to apply it to a branch or a twig that is still green, we would have a dead little branch in our hands. Yeah, so as you can see the main trunk, main little trunk, it's different in color. This means that it's lignified and it's now starting to shape its little bark. And that we can, we can wire, okay? So what I'm going to do is simply apply the wire in a 45 degree angle, trying not to damage the bark, not to crush little buds that we might have on the way. And if we have to remove maybe like a little leaf that is too close to the trunk, and that is bothering us, we can absolutely do that. Okay. So let's continue here. see that in some places it's, it's not going to look like a perfect loop and that's because I'm avoiding a little branch or a little bot we don't want to hurt it in the process so That's why it doesn't look like a perfect, perfect little loop. Okay. I'm sorry, but I can't see if you're seeing this, so I hope you are. Let me just check. Uh, yeah, I think you are. And now that we've completed the upper part, we can continue with the lower part over here. I'm working with very hard type of wire. It's not very malleable. So that's why you see me struggling a bit. But if you're careful, you can do. We can use. You can use whatever you want. Yeah. It has absolutely no effect on the on the plant if you're careful. Uh, let's see. A little close up. Not my best work, but now we can bend it a little bit. Yeah. Like I said, don't wor don't worry if you have to remove some some leaves that are in the way, because. If there's one thing that we can see in this little plant, and actually this type of tree in particular, this tree species in particular, is that it's super healthy. Yeah. Super vigorous. And you should um, make use of that bigger in the early stages of its life. Yeah, let's see if I can bend it this way. Be very careful when you bend. Always try to bend place that 
uh, you have a little, you know, roll, a little uh, coil of, of wire, because that gives you the support that you need, right? Look, here we can apply some directional pruning. You see how this branch was growing in the inner section of this curb right here? It's still going to be there, right? We have very few branches, but one thing that we could do, we could sacrifice this, this little crotch right here in favor of this little guy that is growing here. Yeah, apply some directional pruning. So the new the new section of this branch grows that way, I don't know, towards the back of the tree. And that's going to be very good. So yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and do that. I was thinking about removing it. Anyway, so if we can just direct it a little bit towards the back. Hey, it's a win-win situation, right? There we go. Yeah, I think that's it. That's it. In the future, we can, you know, lower this one right here. We're going to get new uh, new branches because of this, this procedure. So it's looking better and better, right? There we go. Okay. Nice. Nice little fella. Okay. So that's pretty much it for this guy right here. But there's one, one more thing that I want to show you. You remember that we separated this little air layer that we performed here last time we worked on this little guy. And this wasn't the only cherry blossom that I air layered that, that particular time where, where I, you know, where I started to grow these in colanders and, and bigger containers. So today we have a huge one that is growing and, in, and growing and that, that tells us that the, the little plant has generated new roots. So today we're going to separate another air layer. Okay, we're going to plant it in a fairly large container so it can grow and grow because I'm not going to work it as a bonsai. Maybe I'll keep it in the garden. So let's go. Let's take a look. And here we have it. And as you can see, um, it's growing in one of the colanders that we've used for the previous one. But we air layered it here. Uh, <laughs> it's huge, right? It's this is, this is, you know, at least five feet tall. And now we've got to separate it from the, you know, the parent plant. Let me just get things into position here, because I want you to see how I... Oh, sorry. I hate it when the camera moves like that. Sorry if I make you guys dizzy. Anyway, I think that's it. All right. Oh. There we go. And you can see that here we've got the container. With that leftover soil that we had on the other on the other video lots of lots of drainage very inexpensive and now we can just separate it right so you can clearly see that the little pot was over de deteriorating and that's because it was you know, very, very flimsy plastic. A little branch is dead. I just used it to, I just used it to hold, hold everything into position. There we go. Hold it. We've got lift off, lift off, folks. Doesn't seem like much, right? But don't worry. 
we have seen that these little plants are super biggers. You know what? I'm just going to leave that little little thing there because it's going to be like an anchor. I'm just going to place it in its new container. Yeah. Like this. And one thing that we can do, a little bit of pruning, so we can encourage new roots, and so the plant doesn't become awfully stressed, because it's now separated from the main plant. Right? Sorry, we can't see the whole thing, but it's fairly standard procedure. If it stands on its, on its own, if not, we're going to use a little rock. Yeah, we're going to use a little rock. Let me just get one and we'll see what it looks like when it's finished. Not so little rocks in place. These are rocks that I have for uh, for terrariums and whatnot. We put them there. We just leave this guy in a very in a very cool place with uh, you know dappled sunlight, lots of good quality water, and uh, we'll have our little specimen cherry blossom tree. Another thing that we can do, you notice that we have lots of leaves that we prune, we can mulch it like this. And that's going to help us to preserve moisture in the soil, in the plant. Got some here. Sorry. There we go. And in the near future, we can start working on this little, this little parent plant for this not so little guy, right? So let's go ahead and water this and we'll call it a day, okay? Let's go. And that's it. Just water here. Keep it away from strong winds. First week, it might be a good idea to keep it in a shady spot. I, indirect sunlight, very dappled sunlight. And you should have absolutely no problems when you air layer cherry blossoms. Oh, strong wind. Or any pruners type of tree, you know. That's pretty much it, you guys. Gotta hold it because the wind is blowing. Anyway, that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Hope you like and subscribe. And uh, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to each and every one of you because we're all more than 1,000 subscribers now. That means that people like these videos, or at least they tolerate them. And uh, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to each and every one of you. Like I said before, any comments, doubts, questions, anything, drop them down below, write a line, and I'll be happy to answer, okay? Hope you're safe, hope your week goes very well, and I'll see you in the next one.